Hello again, Internet people. Scholarly Belgareth here for the fourth episode of The Witcher, launching on the very first Witcher Wednesday on my channel, which I'm quite pleased about. I've messed about a bit with my channel. I've got some playlists now. So we have Minecraft Mondays, well, Monday Minecraft. Uh, we have Portal Tuesdays. We have Witcher Wednesdays, Thoughtless Thursdays, and Frustrating Fridays. That was the one. So, in the last episode of The Witcher, we fought some bosses. And we killed, well, we fought a boss. And we killed him. And then Big Bad killed Leo. It was quite sad. My mouse sensitivity is a little high, so my view's swinging back and forth. It's bringing me a little dizzy. So... Anyway, we've collected the stuff of Trish's, Trish's um, cocktail, I mean potion, and we have to give it to Eskel. And then he will tell us to go and see uh, Vesmir, who will tell us to get some stuff from the Frightener, and uh, whoops, then we'll have anything to bring Triss back to life, I suppose. I have all the ingredients. Totally didn't go to the wrong person first. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Well, I thank you very much for the formula. Oh, cool. I've got my new sword and my new armors. Armories. So if I just go to my inventory. And to check out my bitchin' new sword. Which is steel swords. And studded leather jacket. And doesn't he look spiffy? So, where's Vesemir gone? He was there a second ago, but he's freaking wandered off now, and I need him! I really wish my perspective wouldn't keep doing that. My sensitivity, as I say, is too high. There we go, Vesemir. Vesemir. Yes? Bitch, tell me where to get the stuff for the fucking potion. Never gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gold. Yes. What next? You'll need Selendine. Take what I have. Oh, thank Plus you very much. The claw of a monster, like the Ooh. To skin the creature. Take a sharp knife. That is convenient. You'll find the frighteners carcass in the upper courtyard. <laughs> Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. So here's the thing. Why would I need to skin well why would I need an incision in the upper torso? Uh when I'm taking a claw. Surely most that have to do is maybe amputate at all. <laughs> but, well, he did say skin it, and I mean, he's talking in monsters in general. So, I'm gonna go through here. Now, I learnt from the last episode of The Witcher. <laughs> I learnt from the last episode of The Witcher that it helps to have snacks to keep me, me happy and motivated. I also learnt from The Witcher that it's really bad for me to eat those snacks on mic. Uh, yeah, so, I've decided I'm gonna ration myself four Jaffas. For the sake of this recording. And I am currently on Jaffa number one. I will uh, let you know how I progress. So right, I've got the Frighteners Claw. So I'm going to just cut here and run back to Vesemir very quickly. Yes. And we're back. Uh, oh, he told me to meditate by the fire and wasn't supposed to talk to him, I was just supposed to meditate. But, you know, talking to him, I just decided I'd have a snooze. So, click on my little alchemy memes. Why Why is this going around, flapping at me? Oh yeah, update, journal update. Anyway, potion for Triss. Just put all the ingredients and mix. And bibbidi bobbidi boop. Alchemy. Witcher style. I wish it was Full Metal Alchemist style, but you can't get everything you want. So, that was a useful little cut though, because I managed to eat the Jaffa. Also managed to check my email and uh, itch my nose. It was it was very productive. I thought I was on the other side of the fire. Jeez, this thing keeps teleporting me around. Okay, uh, potion for Triss. Oh yeah, Triss has been moved upstairs. Now, this means we've got to go find Triss's bedroom. So I think I'm going to cut again because this is going to be quite a long-winded little journey. So see you there. We'll talk later. I really thought that would last a lot longer. Sorry. Jaffering. Anyway, the stairs to Triss's room are here. I'm heading the wrong way. 
because I was eating. <laughs> it's funny that. So, that eating makes me get all mixed up. We're here in Triss's room. Nice stained glass windows. Nice. Holy hell. Look at the reflection on that floor. I mean, I always suspected she spent a lot of time on her knees. Oh! I'm actually... That was inappropriate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, look at this tapestry here. So we're going to talk to her. We're going to give her a potion. And we're going to sweet talk the bitch into some little hanky-panky. Because The Witcher, it's all about... Collecting those romance cards. You don't collect those romance cards. You ain't nothing in the Witcher society. Very, very competitive. Uh, where the frick is it? Oh, there it is. Quest items, of course. It's a potion for Triss. Thank you, Geralt. That was a fast recovery. This potion helps. It was terrible. I drank Lambert was with me. I've it's had that nightmare as well. Ooh. Don't go dying on me, Marigold. In mine, he was just being very so inappropriate. We were both naked at the time. It was horrifying. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back, perhaps ever. Foreshadowing. With me. Ooh. See, obviously, number one is the choice. We have some time. If you I'm want to romance back, everybody in the game, you're supposed you, to. All the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than I ever. You see, in the book where I am, he kind of still had a thing, well, had a thing, being the operative word, had, with uh, the Enchantress, uh, what's her name? Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Yennefer, that's it. That's not your fault. Not your fault. Everyone helped us. To forgive, Everyone makes mistakes. When I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Even though you've got amnesia? Sweet talker. Oh, wow. So subtle. Well, that's even less subtle. Bing removed for YouTube decency reasons. I'm just kidding, but I am probably going to cut this bit out. And one of, I think, about eight or nine collected. And I'm on my last Jaffa. Post-coital Jaffa cake. I'm so romantic. Oh, Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? Of course, for Geralt, that was his first time. Fortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to, then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Pretty predictable, yes, really. Sir. Another product. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Okay. As for the mutagens, let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Yeah, how do you get this floor so shiny? Come on, then. See, I really need to know how she gets the floor so shiny. It's an important issue. I'm just saying. Elbow grease, I reckon. Excessive amounts of elbow grease. Solemn occasion. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. Oh yeah, yeah. They're the spreading out. They're being nomads. Yeah. Go west. <laughs> they don't even bother to say anything about Leo. The then I'll head east to Kedwin, unless someone objects. I object. Fine. Which way should I go? Well, South there's only one way left. King Foltes told you a oh wait, Triss has to go east. Some I think. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You might happen on the bandits trail there. That was the prologue. One well, of the prologue, that was the cutscene. But this is the final bit of the prologue. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. She just wants to meet up for some more ruckus. A few vertical sync issues. For the first time since the first episode. It's almost nostalgic. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizina. Tricks. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. How about a witcher in tears? How about Leo? How about Yamcha? I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you. Trying to think of something more pathetic than Yamcha. I know there is. Hmm. Me playing Halo. There we go. See you, Tris. Now at least that is definitely 
That is more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. You have to agree. Ooh. End of the prologue. Start of chapter one. Bandit succeeded in stealing secrets. You know what? I might actually end this video here. Because this is the end of the prologue. So... Um... The witcher set out in search of stolen secrets. Classically to the four corners of the world. That was my attempt at a narrative voice with a bad cold. Geralt of Rivia went south to Vizima. Of course he did. He's had a lot of action in Vizima. Not really sure what he's been doing in the other kingdoms. Whoa! Did you see that background layer disappear? Okay, so I'm at the outskirts of Vizima. And that is the end of the prologue. Uh, so, I think... I... I'm just gonna end it here, I think. Uh, well, not here. Not on the loading screen. I'm gonna end it in... On the outskirts of Vizima. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. Oh, no. You can tell she's gonna die. She's British. In this freaking game full of Americans. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you. Never mind, she's not a she's not British. <laughs> what are those dogs doing? Dogs. Foreshadowing. They are eating people. Like all good doggies. Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Alright, she's supposed to be British. Run to the inn as fast as you can. And don't look back. Understand? No shit, kid. Sorry, the kid's genius made me pull my microphone out. Ah, there we go. I can't remember what those things are called. <laughs> what the hell? Shut the gate quickly. You know, you are supposed to wait for the people. The beast itself. I see several beasts. I do not see a single beast. Oh, nice. Swish. And fucked. She is so fucked. Oh, she is screwed. She's going to be eaten by, by dogs. By rabid, evil, demon dogs. Rabid, evil, demon dogs. I think that's a good place to end it, really. Geralt. Now well, alright. After this conversation. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her. So... <laughs> Don't open the gate. The beasts will enter. These dogs are deadly. <laughs> Fucking Evil hell. Monsters. Stand aside. I save them myself. Oh, Stop. I recognize that voice. Don't go out there alone. Damn you. We're all going to die. So, end of the chapter. And I think that is a very nice place to end the video. So, I'm going to be fighting these bar guests. And I will see you for the next episode. Next time, well, this time next Wednesday. So, bye! Shit. Convo! Basically, what was that? Magic, surely. The beast! Ah, shit! Is what you missed, sorry. Winter is coming, Jon Snow. And you'll be fucked if you go up north at wall. Blimey, you'll freeze your friggin' balls off. See? Anyone can do prophecy, you preachy little bitch. Not exactly difficult. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, it seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find some. Just shut up, so I can end the fucking video. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. And the translucency. They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. Seriously. The pack is led by a large hound. Call the beast, yes. We get it. He Original name. Might pay to have the yes, yes. Do, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Men who wear the sign of the Salamandra. Salamandra. Shh, not so loud. There was someone. Everyone knows about Salamandra, but no one wants to talk about Salamandra. That is the first rule of Salamandra. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Yes, can I end the video now? <sighs> See you next Wednesday for more on Witcher Wednesday. 
which is a stupid name to say out loud, but it's going to be the name of the playlist regardless. See you next time.